Hello, Bob Buckley here with another Frontline Disc Golf Form Review. Today we have a backhand review for John Hodges. So, looks like the first issue with John's form is that he's got all of the snow. I have just getting rid of that. I moved south to North Carolina in order to do so. <laughs> um, just kidding. Alright, so... Uh, in reality though, I did wash form through and I do I didn't have many bad things to say about his form. Uh, his form looks pretty good. There are a few key things that uh, stuck out to me that I could work on. So let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and play the form once through and then I will back it up and I'll start the review. Okay, so first thing I notice is the angle of the disc when he's reaching back. And while the angle of the disc right now isn't a big deal, um, it's typically better to have less mo movement in your form. Um, so if you start off with a disc flat, keep the disc flat the whole way through, or at least keep it at the angle you want to keep it at. So if you're trying to throw an Anheuser, keep it at an Anheuser angle. If you're trying to throw a Heiser, keep it at a Heiser angle. I see here he is doing kind of like a swing back instead of a reach back. So he could, and when he's doing the swing back, the angle he has it at right now, when he swings back, it kind of does make this flat. So I guess it's not the worst. Uh, but you'll see Dan's on the left here. He starts with the disc at his chest and during his reach back. Keeps the disc flat the whole time and then he pulls through flat. So, you actually get the disc to levitate, which is, your x step's perfect, sorry. I should be going through my checklist. Uh, your x step looks really good. Your timing looks really good. Um, you actually get the disc to levitate, which is something that a lot of people can't get to do. Um, Dan doesn't even do it, at least not in this video. Um, and I'll show you what, he eh, kind of does, I guess. I'll show you what that means. Um, I have, at the end of it, I have Haley King. And I like this video to show it because of this dynamic disc sign in the background. Um, so you'll see, as soon as the disc is over the crown, right about now, the disc is going to stay there until she starts to pull through. So see she's moving her body and the disc is staying in one spot until she gets to pull through. And she's at peak reach back there and she pulls through. That creates more of a whipping motion with your arm and a lot of people can't get into that. Um, so the fact that you have that going on for you is really good. Um, you do get into the power pocket, which is the biggest issue I see with amateurs. They can't get this elbow out. Um, Dan, this is really good, you can see here. I tell people to pretend that this is a glass window, and they're trying to shatter it with their elbow. Most people get to about here with their elbow, and then they open up their shoulders, and it causes, we call it micro-rounding. Um, so you do, get, you do get into that power pocket, which is really good. Um, right about there, you get that elbow out. Uh, work on that plant leg. You got it really bent right now, it's almost at, it's not quite a 90 degree angle, but it's almost there. You'll notice Dan's is nice and straight. Um, I'll bring Haley back. See Haley's nice and straight too. It's a little bit bent, but for the most part, it's not like a drastic angle. Um, I also have Eagle McMahon queued up here. And I got Eagle here, and you'll be able to see as we, I don't know if it'll let me drag through or not. It's not going to let me drag through. 
foot, if I hit play, you'll notice that his plant leg comes out and it's straight. There's not much bend to it. His weight is over his toe, which is also the other thing I wanted to point out. I'll put it a little way over here. Um, and the last thing I noticed is really hard to tell, but it's important. Um, it's hard to tell because of the quality of the video. When I slow it down, if it's not at 60 frames per second, it kind of gets pixelated. Um, but as you release the disc here, it almost looks like, right there, it almost looks like your hand is open. Now the other way I check this is I look at the back of your follow through. Now when you do your follow through, it looks like your hand is in a fist. So I'm not 100% sure that you're actually doing it. But just be cautious about it and maybe take a video of yourself and look at it. If your hand is open there, it means that you're releasing the disc and you're not letting the disc rip out of your hand. And it's really important that you get that disc to rip out of your hand instead of letting your, opening your hand and letting the disc go. So that's pretty much all I have. Um, I do really like your form. I think you do a really good job of the weight shift. You do a really good job in your next step. You got a lot of good things going here. If you work on those uh, few things that I mentioned, I think that uh, you'll see decent improvement. Um, I'd be curious to know how far you throw as it is, because like I said, I think your form's really good. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you uh, see improvement by working on those.